In real life situation, the population parameter is unknown because it is not possible to collect the data from every member in the population. Normally, we collect the sample data and based on the information obtained from the sample data, we can then estimate the population parameter. There are two types of estimation. One is point estimation and the other one is interval estimation. In this video, I'm going to discuss the point estimation. The interval estimation will be discussed in the next video. We start from point estimate. What is point estimate? A point estimate is a single value calculated from a set of sample data which is used to estimate the unknown population parameter. A point estimate must be unbiased. In this video, I'm going to discuss three types of point estimate. The first one is unbiased estimate of the population mean, which is denoted as mu hat. To estimate the population mean, we use sample mean. Since sample mean is bar x, which is equal to sum of the observation divided by the sample size, so therefore, the unbiased estimate of the population mean is equal to sum of the observation divided by the sample size. The second one is unbiased estimate of the population proportion, which is denoted as p hat. p hat is also known as the sample proportion. We use sample proportion to estimate the population proportion. Since sample proportion is equal to k over n, where k is the number of success elements in the sample and n is the sample size. Therefore, the unbiased estimate of the population proportion is equal to k over n. Then number 3, unbiased estimate of the population variance, which is denoted as sigma square head. However, to estimate the population variance, we don't use sample variance, but we use a value which is n divided by n minus 1 multiplied with the sample variance, and this value is used to estimate the population variance. And there are two formulas to find the sample variance. One is this one, the other one is this one. So, we can use either this formula or this formula to estimate the population variance. But I found that these two formulas can be further simplified. For example, the first formula, I can simply cancel off the n to get this formula. So, to calculate the unbiased estimate of the population variance, I can simply use this formula instead of this formula. Then for the second one, first I make the denominator the same and I cancel off the n, then I get this one. So this is another formula can be directly used instead of this one. And when I continue, I found that bar x is actually same as the sigma x divided by n and when I simplify this part, then I get this one. So this one is another formula that we can use directly instead of this one. So therefore, actually there are many formulas can be used to calculate the unbiased estimate of the population variance. Now it's time to try some examples. A computer company repays a large number of PCs and wants to estimate 
the mean time to repair a particular fault. Five repairs are chosen at random from the company's records and the time taken. Calculate unbiased estimates of the mean and variance of the population of repairing time from which this sample has been taken. First, I'm going to find the unbiased estimate of the population mean and the notation is mu hat. Mu hat is the sum of the observation divided by the sample size then when calculate that is 287 seconds so therefore the unbiased estimate of the population mean is 287 seconds now i'm going to find the unbiased estimate of the variance the notation is sigma squared hat so here i have many formulas can be used Let's say I simply choose this formula. From this formula, sigma x squared is the sum of the square of each of the observation that is equal to 442575. N is the sample size that is 5. And bar x is the sample mean that we have got just now. It is 2 at 7. Then when we calculate, we find that it is 7682.5. So therefore, the unbiased estimate of the population variance is 7682.5 seconds. Second example. In an outbreak of a skin rash caused by a virus, sufferers were categorized by the approximate percentage of skin area affected. The results were given below. Calculate unbiased estimate of the mean and variance of percentage of skin area affected. In this question, the data is given in a frequency table. If the data is given in a frequency table, then to calculate the unbiased estimate for the population mean, we are going to use this formula where sigma fx divided by n. x is the midpoint of each of the class interval and f is the frequency of the class interval. So for the first class, the midpoint is 2.5 and the frequency is 16, so 16 times 2.5. For the second class, the midpoint is 7.5, and the frequency is 23, so 23 times 7.5. And until the last class, the midpoint is 27.5, and multiply with the frequency 3. Then the sum of this value will be divided with the total frequency so when we calculate the sigma fx is 900 and the total frequency is 80 so therefore it is equal to 45 over 4 or we can also write it in decimal form it is 11.25 so therefore the unbiased estimate of the population mean is 11.25 now we are going to find the unbiased estimate of the population variance. So since the data is given in the frequency table, so for each of the formula, the observation must be multiplied with the frequency here. So similarly, I can use any of this suitable formula. Let's say I'm going to use this formula. So n is the total frequency, just now we know that that is equal to 80. x squared is the square of the midpoint of each of the class multiplied with the frequency. And when we sum up the calculation, it is equal to 13850. Then sigma of fx from the calculation just now, it is 900 and n is total frequency 80 
so when we calculate it is 47.152 so therefore the unbiased estimate of the population variance is 47.152 Next example, a manufacturer that produces sugar claims that the sugar is packed in bags which contain 25 kg each. A random sample of 80 bags is examined and the mass of the contents of each bag is recorded. It is found that the sum of x minus 25 is equal to 27.2 and sum of x minus 25 squared is 85.1. Calculate an unbiased estimate for the population mean and variance of the mass of the contents of a bag. In this question, I'm going to use the coding method that we have already learned in chapter 1, where I'm going to use y equals x minus 25. From the sum of x minus 25 is equal to 27.2 x minus 25 can be replaced with y so I get sum of y is 27.2 and sum of x minus 25 squared can be replaced with sum of y squared is equal to 85.1 after I have changed x in terms of y now I'm going to find the sample mean in terms of y where bar y is equal to sigma y divided by n. Sigma y is 27.2, n is 80, then bar y is 0 0.34. After I have got the y, then I'm going to convert y back into x. Since y is equal to x minus 25, means that bar y is equal to bar x minus 25. And bar x is equal to 0 0.34, therefore bar x is equal to 25.34. And we are using bar x, that is the sample mean, to estimate the population mean. So therefore, mu hat is equal to bar x which is 25.34 so therefore unbiased estimate of the population mean is 25.34 kg next i'm going to find the estimate of variance but in terms of y so now the formula is in terms of y so sigma y squared is 85.1 bar y is 0 0.34 that we got just now then when we simplify is 0 0.9602 so this is the estimate of variance in terms of y now I'm going to convert back into estimate of variance in terms of x since y is equal to x minus 25 but we know that subtraction and addition of any number does not give effects on the variance. So therefore, estimate of variance in terms of y is same as estimate of variance in terms of x. So therefore, estimate of the variance is 0 0.9602. So therefore, unbiased estimate of the population variance is 0 0.9602. Now, other than coding method, I found that some students, they use another method. That is, for sigma x minus 25, they separate into sigma x minus sigma 25. Then for sigma 25, because altogether we have AD, means n is equal to AD, so sigma 25 for n is equal to 80, it is equal to 80 times 25. So means sigma x is equal to 2027.2. After we have got the sigma x, now we can find the unbiased for the population mean that is sigma x divided by n. 
and sigma x is 2027.2 and n is 80. So the mu hat is equal to 25.34. Therefore, the unbiased estimate of the population mean is 25.34 kg. And as for variance, for sigma x minus 25 squared, first we expand the quadratic here becomes x squared minus 50x plus 625. Then for each term, we separate the sigma, then is sigma x squared minus 50 sigma x plus sum of 625. But for this sum of 625, since n is 80, so this one is 80 times 625 and sigma x is 2027.2 that we got just now. So therefore, we got sigma x squared is 51445.1. After we have got the sigma x squared, now we can find the estimate of the variance, which is I use this formula. So sigma x squared is equal to 51445.1. And bar x is 25.34 that we got just now. So finally, the answer is 0. 9602. So therefore, the unbiased estimate of the population variance is 0 0.9602 kg.